Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars Hey guys, how's it going? Today I will be starting on a project that I've been wanting to do for a while, which is uh, build a moon base. So I think we're going to get started today by landing the, uh, the kind of the cornerstone of the base down, which will kind of just be a main command center. So let's get started with this. Um, let's see, we're going to be, it's going to be able, we're going to need to be able to deliver it there, but not have rocket engines on the bottom or anything, or at least have them able to be taken off, because that looks ugly, just, it looks like a bunch of rockets sitting around. So, um, first I want to design the thing. Let's put in a crew tank. It looks kind of like a, I don't know, we can use that as a command center. Um, and then the top of it, top of it, let's go for structural, and then let's put in some, like a big radio tower on top. Okay, now let's start off by, on this radio tower, let's put comms, more comms, let's tilt them a little bit, no, not that much. Okay, uh, let's put on some lights, lights are always fun, so that's in utility. Big ass spotlights. Uh, angle snap. Let's put them on the base here. Tilt them back. Good. Uh, I got to make sure that I'm not. I don't go crazy with the lights because um, you can only have a certain number of lights in an area illuminating things. Don't know why that is. But uh, anyway, let's see. We need some other cool stuff on there. Uh, there's, yes, let's put, let's put a gravioli detector on there. Why not? Uh, accelerometer, this thing isn't going to be accelerating much. Barometer, there's no temperature, or there's temperature, but there's no, um, there's no air pressure on the moon. Let's see. Okay. Um, now, let us figure out a way. Oh, first we need to put... No, we'll do that later. Let's figure out a way to make it, I don't know, land. So let's put four of these, get some structural, four of them on the bottom. Uh, attach the... Come on, attach. Okay, what's going on? That's not working either. Hmm. What if we used larger ones? Uh, no, that doesn't really work either. Okay, octagonal struts. Can't put those down without these, which we'll put here. Octagonal strut there and tanks on the bottom there that looks nice and let's see legs definitely legs not those ones those are hideous okay And then we'll put down a ladder. Not four of them, just one. It's a bit close to the hatch, but whatever. That's fine. All right, next we need to... I think we should have a way of attaching things to this. Um... That's going to be a little difficult, though. Uh, 
Uh, so I was thinking of putting docking ports somewhere around here, but it looks weird because wait, what if we what if we go up there, take it and symmetry, put them on the sides. I won't let me put them on the sides. Copy this. It looks, it looks a little funny, but... There. That looks nice. Uh, we'll get rid of this ladder. And we'll add... No. One ladder. We'll add this one. Let's tilt it out a little bit. There, and then let's put the final ladder to the ground. You know what? I don't like this. I don't really like that much either. Uh. Yeah, that, that looks good, but I need to add back the lights. So let's put them um let's see. There. That's a proper angle. Okay. Uh well now we can put these things on. Fortunately it's not going to let us do it unless they're small. And they're not going to let us... Well, let's just put them on individually, I guess. No! No, no, what did I just... Ugh. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put them on individually. Man, I really wish there was some sort of a vertical snap function. That would be really, really useful. Especially for things like this where you have to put things on individually. Okay. Oh, um... I'm gonna line the bottom part of that up exactly with the little black part. Okay, done that. And... There. Switch this one, move it up. There. Okay, uh... Now we should be able to link things up that way. I'll just have to figure out how high they are compared to, say, a Kerbal or something. It should work just fine. We'll use wheeled things. Maybe we can even build rovers. Oh man, I can do so much with this moon base. Um, now I need to figure out how to get it down. I mean, I suppose I could just be lazy and put these things on. Not four of them. But I don't know. It, Kind of just looks sloppy. What if we put these tiny ones on there? Question is, will those have enough thrust? I highly doubt that they'll have enough thrust. Let's put more. I'm just going to do a little test of that, just to see how... I mean, I won't be able to lift off or slow down on this planet, because it's too big, but, you know, it. We. I just want to see how fast it drains all that fuel. Also, I want to see these lights. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Okay, well, there's plenty, there's plenty of power. We know that now. All right, so that's the first first part, and we're going to have to figure out how to get this thing down. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to try to attach some sort of decoupler to this thing. 
Unfortunately, it's probably not going to, yeah, it's not going to want to go in the middle because it, it's four parts. What if we turned it, what if it was upside down? Uh, I can't do that because... Huh. These things are always tricky. Uh, wait, no. Okay, I have, I have it. I've got it. Let's... On the bottom of this, put a tiny little decoupler. Uh, is this long enough? No. We'll put one of these on there. Uh, if it's going to let us, I don't think it is. No. Let's just move these somewhere else. Actually, I wonder if it's fine without, without those. Because without those, this should be able to fit if it doesn't stop being goofy. Okay. Um, yeah, that should be good. I just want to see if it will work. I mean, if we get enough thrust to lift it off the ground on here, even slightly, then we'll know it's it'll be fine for moon landing. It looks kind of really weird right now. Oops. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to um turn down the volume a little bit. <laughs> it's a bit loud. Uh, where are the settings? Settings can't access them from here. Okay. Well, um that was good except this didn't come off. Maybe if I used a different kind of decoupler. Um, just this tiny one. It's not a decoupler per se, but should still work. You get out of here. Okay. Uh, we'll put this in. Let's move this up here just so we can like detach it in flight. And I will lower the volume before doing this because Wow, that hurt. <laughs> Alrighty, and now let's try this thing out. Full throttle. That worked perfectly, although struts are pretty indestructible. And let's see. Oh, looks like I forgot to save it, so I'll go back to the Space Center. Whatever auto saved last, yeah, that should be fine. Yes, okay. Well, now that we solved that problem, let's put a. Oh, you know what this thing needs? This thing needs some SAS. There, actually, I like that. It looks like a gradual transition to comms tower. Um, man, this thing this needs more comms. Also, it needs for me to move these things up. Yeah. Okay. There, comms tower complete. Now this thing... Oof. I'm going to need to drop the strut and its friends from high altitude so it crashes in at sufficient speed to destroy it, because these things are ridiculously overpowered. I mean, it's kind of stupid how overpowered they are. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I was putting a decoupler on here. And missing. Okay, decoupler. Uh, and then let's have a kind of service module stage. That SAS should be sufficient for this. Um, do we, need some, we need RCS. We don't need RCS on the main stage, but nah, we're fine. Let's go with Poodle Engine. Move this thing up. Okay. And finally, the getting off of the place stage, which I think I'm going to do asparagus staging. And if you don't know how to asparagus stage, I will show you now. Uh, so for this purposes, I'm going to use what are essentially three tank 
engines or three tank stages. So these are basically two tanks and then final tanks here. And to keep it from coming apart, you want to put struts on it because on larger rockets they love to come apart. Oh, it's so it's ridiculous. And we put mainsail on the bottom or actually better idea. Let's do it with cluster staging. All right, now we'll we'll do two tutorials. Let's do cluster staging and asparagus staging. Or cluster engines and asparagus staging. So, we'll start with this engine, which is size 1 and it's uh the gimbaling engine which allows it to vector its thrust and then we go into the structural find these little four four struts put them on far away from the center like right there get four of the big engines put them on there uh, I need to move it out a little farther get on there Get on there. Ah. Farther. Wait, I did it. No, do it again. Do it again. I hate you, no. <sighs> it did it. Get on there. Maybe if we put it on. Oh, there it goes. Yay. Okay, don't touch it. Um, I'm going to copy this as it is. Actually, I'm going to copy it three times. Now, this looks terrible, but it works. I promise. Okay. Um, let's see. Four engines. Let's have all these engines fire at the same time. And we will put the large decouplers on it. Two at a time. And put them right in the middle, right about there, and we'll put these guys on. Um, no, I want all the engines firing at the same time. Okay, uh, that should be good. Let's add the second decoupler. And the reason I'm using these um, big decouplers that are more separated from the main body is because, uh, well, some of you may know, it's awful when you have a stage or like a, a radial booster type thing that you eject and it smashes into your main body. Ugh, it's just, it's irritating. Okay. No, I want all of you to go up there with the rest of the nice little engines. What are you doing? Get down there. Okay, and now we're going to connect these new boosters with one-way fuel lines. Okay. And we will have main engines fire. These, which one are these? These ones or these ones? These ones. We'll have these decouplers drop first, and then these ones second, and then we will have the third and final decouplers drop off after these. And where did I put that other one? Oh, it's back here. Okay. Uh, let's make it as perfectly even as we possibly can. No. Don't do this to me. Okay. All right. And now we put on fuel lines that go from the second boosters to this one and then more fuel lines that go from the final booster into the main stage and if you can see how this this ends up working it's that all the engines fire at the same time all these engines down here and they all drain fuel out of this booster and this booster and then when they're when they're drained they drop off and we get rid of a whole lot of weight and then they start draining out of this booster and so on and then it's just way more efficient than standard staging it's it's really a wonderful thing, and I love whoever discovered it. Okay, and we will take these nose cones. 
put them on one at a time because we all put them on separately. Oh, and I forgot to do... Which ones are these? No, I want you to fire with the rest of the engines. Get down there. Get down there. Good boy. You two. And you. And these are the final... These are the final ones, right? Yeah. So these final ones will go in a stage of their own up here. And then that will finish... This final stage will finish... This will drop off, this will activate, and then we know how it goes from there. Uh, to keep these things from falling off, which they tend to when they're in this configuration, let's put on a whole bunch of struts. Because space tape is the answer to all of your problems in Kerbal Space Program. All right. Ooh, we're going to need to, str to strut that, too. Let's put the struts here. Go up here. Good. That should be pretty stable. But we will see in the launch to make sure that everything is stable. All right. Uh, all engines. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, now to come up with a name for this moon base. I'm tempted to call it Moonbase Alpha, but I think that would just end a lot of John Madden. Um, let's see. Okay, I've got it. I'm going to call it Pinnacle Base. Because I already have a Pinnacle Station, I might as well have Pinnacle Base. No, no. I don't want this. I already have a station around the moon called Haven Station, so we'll call this Haven Base. Everything works. All right, save this thing. Hopefully this thing won't be too much of a pain to launch. Um, but let's just, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yes, yes. All right, let's launch this thing. Full throttle. And... Ooh. It's beautiful. Bit laggy, but it's pretty beautiful. And we can see over here the rate of the draining of all the engines. Look at all these engines. Getting pretty close to first uh, first booster separation, so we're prepared to do that. Almost there. All right, separate. Goodbye. We still have a buttload of fuel left. Let's get a little sh sharper on the gravity turn. Surprisingly stable. I'm actually pretty proud of this for throwing this together in just a few minutes. Alright. I 
I'm thinking to myself now that I forgot to put on um, solar panels and batteries, but it's o it's okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I um, the solar panels and batteries I will put on in a later expansion of the moon base. Let's tilt this thing even more. I should get a good view of how um, how it's faring on the map screen. Let's look at this. Eh, it's all right. It's double ways to go. Go. As you can see, I have quite a bit of space junk around my little planet Kerbin here. really not consuming fuel all that fast at this point because there are fewer engines than there were when we started. Many fewer engines. Okay, almost getting up to orbital, orbital altitude on the uh, projected orbit. There we go, orbital altitude, but I'm just going to keep going. Nice. Got a nice orbit here. Let's put a maneuver node on. About three minutes. Just increase it to... I don't really care how good the orbit is. Just need to get all the way around. Let's position ourselves for that. Prepare. So what that means with me forgetting to put on the uh, batteries and solar panels is they won't be able to use their lights until they get the solar panel attachments, which is fine by me. I mean, uh, I kind of like the idea of having an interdependent base so that, you know, one part can't survive without the other parts, which is not good, not a good design in the real world, but it's fun in KSP. And remember, kids, fun is what it's all about. Alright, SAS there. Few minutes. Okay, uh, a little more. Ooh, ooh, went way over. Whoops. It should still be fine. It's just not the best idea. I accidentally warped all the way past that node. But, not to worry, we'll still achieve orbit. Let's see. That's good enough. Doesn't need to be exact. Let's delete this node. Let's add another one so that we'll get to the moon. Let's add it right about there.
Ooh, looks like that's not good enough. Okay, how about there? No, I don't want to target comp set. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. A little less. Ooh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's a very nice intercept. And we're going to have quite a bit of fuel because we are... Uh, well, because of the combination of asparagus staging and these cluster engines, the cluster engines provide roughly the same power as the, the big mainsails, but they use less fuel, which I'm not sure if it's considered an exploit yet, um, but I've seen a lot of people using it, and it's very, very helpful. So I would recommend it if you're having trouble having enough fuel to get larger things into orbit. And with the asparagus staging, it somehow allows for uh, you consume less fuel overall but you get more thrust because you have all the engines firing because it's just nice to be able to drop all that weight as you go up out of the atmosphere which is the hardest part of space travel is getting off the planet in the first place Okay, and we will time accelerate right about there. Time acceleration stops you from rotating, which is nice. It's like super SAS. Let's not warp past the target this time. Four, three, two, one, and there we go. Okay. Uh... Oh cool, we're burning directly towards the moon. Wait a second. Yeah, we're going the right way, sorry. I've just turned around. I thought we were, for some reason, pointing retrograde. Would have been incredibly dumb. And we're waiting, and we're waiting. I'm recording a lot of video, my computer's gonna hate me for this. All right, that's good enough. It's pretty close to the to what I had planned. Man, we still have a lot of fuel in this thing. So um, now it's time to wait for five hours. Luckily, we don't actually have to wait for five hours. Okay, and we'll be ooh. I really would like to have it on a perfect uh, orbit, or a perfectly horizontal, no, not there, horizontal plane. No, I don't want, oh, I never said I wanted one of those. Okay. Uh, so we'll go right about there. Add a maneuver and we'll bring it down. No, too much, too much there and we will oh no 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 what are you doing that's actually pretty good right there but it's not exactly on the orbit see this is the orbit of my haven station which has two reusable landers that I have built on um, or built in lunar orbit so I think it'll be a nice complement to the Haven base, so the station will be able to resupply the base if necessary. Of course, not with anything real, because, you know, this game doesn't have that kind of complexity yet.
you know, I probably don't even need this little intermediate stage here. And we'll time accelerate. And we'll time accelerate. Don't miss it again. It looks like we're going to come in for a crash, but we're not. Whew. Close. Got some debris over there, huh? Guess I've been here before. There's one thing I can say about KSP, it's that without a doubt it is definitely contributed to my knowledge of orbital mechanics. I mean, seriously, it's amazing. Alright, burn. We close enough? I think we're pretty pretty close. Ooh, yes, yes. Let's definitely land in this crater over here. Um, and even though I have a lot of fuel left, I'm done with this thing. Get out of here. Ooh, I love fairings. Make your rocket look so much nicer. Alright. And, uh... Well, this big useless stage that I have here now, I think I'll just use it to kill my uh, horizontal velocity and then use the engines on the base itself to come down nice and easy. So let's just time accelerate, which is a tool I'm, I'm pretty sure that NASA wishes they had. Alright, uh, a little more. Oh, oh yes, yes, there's an arch over there. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's an arch, which is a really cool landmark to, to land next to. Alright, let's activate this engine. And let's begin burning. Come down a bit fast, but luckily we have. Oh, <laughs> oh! I guess we're lucky that didn't hit me. That would have been a very abrupt end to the short-lived moon base program. That's really cool. I like that we're next to an arch kind of a nice landmark to be next to. We can just have day excursions over there. Ooh, you can see the rocks. Yay! That's not come down too slowly. Let's just kill hor horizontal velocity. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Lucky, luckily we're landing on the light side of the moon, so I don't have to estimate distance or take the time to go into IVA and look at the Radar altimeter. I love it when games make you use instruments. It's great. Um, all right, closer to the ground, closer. Can't warp. Why would I want to warp? That's really stupid. Thank you, game, for stopping me wanting to warp. We'll burn a bit in the last second. Alright, 
good. Let's drop this stage. Whoops. I forgot to change that when I was kind of debugging the thing. Well, got some debris. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Perfect! Well, that is a base on the moon. Cool! You, I wish you had not survived. Or you, whatever, it'll add to the character, I guess. Hopefully this works getting out of it, so let's extend this ladder. Let's have Mr. Hudkin Kerman here climb down this ladder. Oh good, it works! Ooh, ooh good. Yay! Oh man, I've been spending so much time on Gilly, I'm not even used to this. Such high gravity, wow. Oh, I actually wanted to test it out, I didn't want to actually make that jump. Okay. And you can... Oh. Get up there. Get... Get up there. Well, I found a problem. The one problem with the moon base. And that is also a problem. <laughs> Idiot. Get up there. Alright, cool. Well, that's part one of the moon base. We're going to add a whole lot more later, like I talked about first, probably get a power generation and storage facility. So, that will be next. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you could follow us on Twitter, we would greatly appreciate that. It's at 2RocketGuys. I'll put it up on the uh, screen here. We'll be retweeting stuff from space blogs and Kerbal Space Program news and posting video updates. And um, we just greatly appreciate it. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I will see you all later.